When building applications, sometimes you might want your users to upload photos. And while your users can select from existing photos, it would also be nice to allow them to capture them live on the go with the cameras on their device. So in this video, we'll be seeing how to implement a webcam in a React application. Having easy access to a camera is a powerful way to capture moments in time. With tools like React Webcam, we can easily drop in a way to capture a photo from a camera, whether that's on a phone or laptop. With the photos captured, we can upload them wherever, and we can add features to applications that allows users to add filters or effects to the images or photos they have captured. In your existing React application, the first step is to install React Webcam. Then I'm going to create a component called Webcam. Here I'll import the React webcam and I'm going to have my aspect ratios here, one for landscape and one for portrait. And I'll paste my webcam component here. This component takes in a function prop and it takes in a type. And then here I use the React webcam. I pass some props here. I use mirrored. I'm going to comment this for now so we see what the mirrored looks like. And here using the render prop, I get this get screenshots. And in this button, when you click on it, we can get the screenshots and then we can call this function set captured image passing the image data. Now coming back to app.gsx, I can import the webcam. Here I'm going to keep state for the captured image. And here I can say if the captured image is null, then I'm going to render the webcam here. And if I should come here and refresh, I need to grant access to the camera, of course. Okay, and now we have this. So I have this here and when you click on this button, this is going to capture the image. We have the captured image state updated. I can come here and say when the captured image state is not null or undefined, then I can render that image here. So here we have a preview. If I should refresh again, I can capture and then I have this. So your image already captured, you can upload this to an image hosting service. In this case, we'll be using Cloudinary and we'll be uploading using the Cloudinary REST API. Here on the components, I'm going to create upload image. And in this help us, I also have this upload.js where I append the file, append the upload presets, which is coming from my environment variable, append the API key. And I go to env.example, this is what it looks like. So you're going to have a .env file, and then you have your cloud name, you have your API key, and then you have your upload preset. And these are things that you can find on the Cloudinary dashboard if you have an account. I'm going to import use state and also import the upload helper. Then I'll have my components. This is going to take the capture image on upload and set captured image i'm going to have my uploading states just to kind of show that this is uploading and i have this function which one you call is going to set uploading to true then we upload and then we set uploading to false i show the captured image i have my actions where i have an upload button and a retake button and the retake button is basically going to set captured image to null so that my webcam would show again and if the uploading state is true i'm going to have this uploading text Here here, I'm going to import the upload image and then I'm going to keep state for uploaded image. So the uploaded image is going to hold the Cloudinary URL of the image. And then here I can say if the captured image is not null and this is null, then I'm going to render the upload image components. So now if I should refresh this, when I capture the photo, now I have this upload image component. <laughs> Look at my face. And when you click on retake, this is going to open the webcam again. If you click on upload photo, we have this. And now when you click on upload, we have this upload in here. And then this is uploaded to Cloudinary. So now let's show the preview of the image after it has been uploaded to Cloudinary. And to make this simple, I'll be using the Cloudinary React SDK and as well the Cloudinary URL gen SDK, which is the JavaScript library. So I'm going to come here to install these libraries. I'm going to create a component called CLD image. I'll import advanced image from the React SDK and import Cloudinary from the URL gen SDK. Then here I can create my Cloudinary instance where I have new Cloudinary. And for the cloud name, I'm going to pass the cloud name in my environment variable. And here I have my CLD image components, which takes the public ID. And from this public ID, we'll call the CLD instance dot image, pass that ID so we can get the URL. And then we can pass that URL to the advanced image component. Going back to app.gsx, I can say that when we have an uploaded image, then I'm going to render this span, which says uploaded to Cloudinary. I have this button, retake, which when you click is going to set uploaded image to null and captured image to null. Then I'm going to have my CLD image, which I'm going to import here. If we come here again and we capture, this is upload image components when we upload. 
this is uploaded to Cloudinary and now we have uploaded to Cloudinary and this now points to the Cloudinary URL. If I should copy this and just come down here to paste this, you can see what the URL um, looks like here. Although we could stop here, let's take this a step further to show some effects or filters. So going back to the CLD image component, I'm going to import all of these effects from the URL gen slash action slash effect. I'm going to create an effects object here with key non value null, key sepia value calling the sepia function. Here I'm going to keep state for the active effect. And then here, I'm going to say that if the active effect is not none, then I'm going to call my image dot effect. And then here I have my effect object passing the active effect as the key. So in the case of grayscale, we're going to pass this grayscale function called on the my image dot effect. So currently this is none, but if I should change this now to grayscale, you see we now have a grayscale version here. But let me take this back to none and instead show some options that allows you to change the filter. Here I am rendering to, through all the effects. I'm going to have my image with filter. I'll call image with filter dot effect passing the effect and when you click on that effect i'm going to set the active effect to be that effect so now when we come here you can see this is none this is sepia when we click on it this becomes the active effect so that's rendered here this is grayscale vignette pixelate cartoon vectorize and any other effect that you want to use or filter from cloudinary you can use this same concept to show your users the different effects that they can apply and then you can apply it to the image that they see and as for the mobile view i can come here keep a state for is mobile then I can have my use effect where I check the screen orientation type and if it is portrait primary then this is going to be mobile and for my webcam I can now pass a type where I say if it is mobile then the type is going to be portrait else it's going to be landscape so coming back to the webcam if the type is portrait then these are the aspect ratios that are going to be used and now I can check this out on my iPhone and you can see that it works just the same way it works on the web version of my application. Next up let's see how we can upload our images in a gallery.